Class six. Welcome again in our e-learning class. Today we will start the third chapter from this honeysuckle, Taro's reward. Take out page number twenty nine. So before you read, what is written? This is a story about a thoughtful and loving son. He works hard to fulfill his parents' wishes and gets some unexpected help. So let's see what unexpected help he has got. Or he received Taro's reward. A young woodcutter named Taro lived with his mother and father on a lonely hillside. That means the place was not crowded; it was uh, quite lonely. All day long, he chopped wood in the forest. Meaning of chopped, it is given cut into pieces. Though he worked very hard, he earned very little money. So. he was not uh, having quite uh, profit from his job that means he was not earning enough he was working a lot but the output that means the income was not at all worthy this made him sad for he was a thoughtful son and wanted to give his old parents everything they needed so quite a responsible child he was that means he just uh, took enough care for his old parents and thought that he must be providing them everything which is required for them or which is essential for them one evening when taro and his parents were sitting in a corner of their hut a strong wind began to blow it whistled through the cracks of the hut and everyone felt very cold meaning of whistled it is given through sorry whistled through passed through with a whistling sound the whistling sound you know the sound that is made by wind like this okay it whistled through the cracks of the hut and everyone felt very cold suddenly taru's father said i wish i had a cup of sake it would warm me and do my old heart good meaning of sake it is given but before that let us see what is the meaning of cracks given narrow gaps or openings sake a popular japanese drink sa it is pronounced like fa in father and ki rhymes with we that means sake sake we okay so this made taro sadder than ever for the hot warming drink called sake was very expensive which was not possible for this taro to bring for his old parents how do i earn more money he asked himself how do i get a little sake for my poor old father so uh, once he had heard the thing that his father was uh, thinking that he must be if he would have got some sake then he would have felt quite warmth in his body that means it would have given some sort of comfort to his body in this cold weather so listening to that or hearing that he felt quite sad that i am not uh, getting enough money through my job or the job i do or the profession i am in i am not getting i am not earning enough to bring some sake for my father so he asked himself that how do i earn more money he decided to work harder than before next morning taro jumped out of bed earlier than usual and made his way to the forest he chopped and cut chopped and cut as the sun climbed and soon he was so warm that he had to take off his jacket that means he was doing hard work as a result his he, he was feeling quite hot his mouth was dry and his face was wet with sweat my poor old father he thought if only he was as warm as i meaning of uh, made his uh, way is given over here made his way to that means went to and with that he began to chop even faster thinking of the extra money he must earn to buy the sake to warm the old man's bones so as a responsible child he was working hard so that he could uh, just uh, earn enough money to buy some sake for his 
old father okay children in our next video we will proceed with the next part of the chapter bye